go. Let's go. Let's go. How often do you think that happens? Uh, what? What? That the YouTuber or Twitch streamer makes more off of the game than the game developer does. Uh, ask Edmund. I definitely have not made more money on Isaac than Edmund has. I think pretty close. It's possible that 10 or 15 years from now, if I'm still playing it, <laughs> that number will reverse. I don't think either of us are complaining. I but think you're closer than a lot of people think you are. I think, no, I think he's got me beat. I, Isaac, in all of its forms, has sold something like 4 million units. Even if he sold them at like 50 cents a pop, we got some ground to recover. The inside baseball for you number fans out there. It's true. <laughs> but like, there's got to be an example of like, certainly like if Markiplier plays a free game. Like that's, that's the obvious example. What do you think about like I'm trying to think of some some different examples that might make nobody's made more on PUBG than Brennan, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Shroud, Shroud, Shroud's Shroud close. Might, yeah. <laughs> Shroud and Dr. Disrespect might be rolling in it, but Brennan's flying everywhere in a solid gold jet uh, <laughs> offering in decent posts. <laughs> what if Brendan is actually not making that big of a cut? Do you think it's possible that Shroud and Dr. Disrespect could be making more? If he's no. on salary, then they're probably making more, but you gotta I, think he's got like a back end deal where he's getting his a name's on the game. True. <laughs> Remember when this game came out? Who's player unknown? You know? <laughs> now you know. We, we gotta spread this around. We gotta go somewhere different. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, we didn't go to Minus, Power Grid yet. Let's go Power Grid. Minus Tirith? Isn't that from. Minus Tirith? That's Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, that from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, Terrible. so that's Minus Tirith now. We got it. Do I know my, one of my favorite Magic the Gathering card of all time? Um, Blood Moon. No. <laughs> No. Black Lotus. No. I think I don't know the the first word. Hyloo Minotaur. Heirloom Minotaur? Air, not, it's, <laughs> I don't I think it's like Hyloo. Yeah, it could be. Magic does that. Yeah, they do make up words. But uh, it's it's the cover of I think revised, I believe. I don't I always associate that. Anyways, I don't know why I said that. No, that's it. I, I almost could have related to you, but oh, we. Oh my God. Okay, this is uh, a lot of people. You guys want to go junkyard? <laughs> no, we got. We got. We got to go for this. We got to go. We're in, in, huh? What do you think of these shipping crates? Are they like? Is there anything in them? No, I would go for the buildings for sure. All right. I got a one v one situation out here, boys. I have a one v like eight. No, no, the rubber band. The rubber band. Rub, 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 rub the band. Come on, you scumbags. Give me a gun. Oh, there's vaulting. Let's go. Got one. Oh, the rubber banding. Oh, God. You just got that stuck in my head. Rub, 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 <laughs> rub, rub the band. Rubber rub, 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 band. Rub, 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 Hey, this guy in his crate, he had a gun. I think it's a pistol, though. I got a shot. Yo, how, how do you walk in this game? You hold right click. Ah. Oh, there's one behind us, Austin. He one tapped me with a shotgun. You got him. You got him. You got him. He tried to tear me, and you made him feel the burn. That's wonderful. Here, I, I got time. I can get into this yeah. building or something. Scumbag. Good job, Dan. Oh. <laughs> That's just the most condescending thing you've ever said. I got you. Thanks for the rest. Good job, Dan. <laughs> he well, I was like, all of us got a kill early in this one. It felt nice. No, yeah, except, did, except I, I didn't realize that he was on the brink of disaster. Give uh, any healers? Nope. Nothing. I know what I must do. I believe in the heart of this grenade. A oh, Winnie. I don't know why I'm picking up like helmets and stuff. I have no health. I, had to one I wonder what percentage of my kills lifetime are against people that are unarmed. <laughs> I'd say probably less than 15%. Absolutely. That's very not. kind of you. I'm not like, even mine's probably like pretty high. What are the percentage 
out of the three of us that have a uh, sniper shot on a moving boat from about 400 meters away in the PUBG trailer. <laughs> One? I think is the answer. Uh, I believe it would be 33%. Oh, sorry, yes, of course. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, here, I'm opening the door. You can get in. Austin, how did it. you find out that you were in there? They asked me for permission to use the clip. Oh. Did you tell them no? Oh, I told them, please do. Uh, probably going to get shot. Probably. He only has a pistol, though, so he might not kill you. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here. <laughs> he was there. Austin, I need you to be honest with, with us. I'm always honest with you. <laughs> when you play with us, and you think from a gameplay standpoint, what is the internal dialogue in your head right before you queue a game? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really thinking of anything before a game. During a game, there's all sorts of stuff. But <laughs> before like, a game, right. it's just like, all right, we're playing a game. Let's get out of here. All right, we all have ARs. We're in a 3v3 situation. What are you oh, thinking? I see you wanted. I, I understand. I, I, it's, it's usually once something has happened when I think of, so I don't know, like. Make sure you exit the lobby, Dan. Got it. Thank you. I'm saying like when you're analyzing our chances of victory, you say, hey, I got to wipe all three of these guys to, for no, us to survive. Like, I think it just depends on the situation. Like, I, I, I know I can rely on you guys to get someone who's, who's in range, like, and. Who's down. No, who's <laughs> facing away, but. <laughs> Like, you guys aren't, like, bad at shooting, necessarily. Like, I think, obviously, like, if it's a really tight situation and there's it's close range or something, like, I, you know, I'm not that great at close range, but, like, or, like, really, really long range or something along those lines, I think anyone's going to struggle, but I'm not ready. Um, uh, did you not see when we played with pause? I landed a shot from Island all the way up into the dude's head. We were talking about Paz's Cod Turtle channel. I do remember that. But oh my god. Why? Da, 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 PUBG da, da, devs, why? Alright, I got a new rule. If we get three of these maps in a row, our next game is Therpy. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yes! Or you choose. You choose we play old map first, or or we wait till new map is 30. Definitely old map first. like Without a doubt. <laughs> Oh. oh uh, DAE, why do these guys like 30? <laughs> right? Look, we don't have to go down this road again. <laughs> we'll but go down it again. I don't think it's objectively better. It's objectively That's better. the thing. I we think still haven't gotten an objective statement from Austin. I, I well, think people are going to be like, I agree with Austin that first person is better, and I accept that. I, I accept that first person is like the canonical choice. But the language that it's objectively better. I, you still I haven't is... provided an argument for yourself that isn't, I just find it more fun. You that's, can find that's, something that's... that's, that's a, hold on. The, no, 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 slow down. You can like something that is objectively worse and still find it fun. <laughs> there is no fault in that whatsoever. It's a video game. It's a competitive video game. <laughs> Not for me. Okay, then, then just okay. Then admit that. Admit, say okay. I don't like the competitive part of this, so I like third person more. And you're completely correct and fine. But we do like the competitive. Well, I like the competitive part. Uh, Brian was just making the argument that he didn't. I mean, I, it's. I was mostly making it a joke, but like, I'm not playing PUBG for like the most pure competitive experience. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Okay, that's fine. But that's here's not an the argument. Statement. Here would be an objective statement. There is a better frame rate in third person than first person. <laughs> That's not true, but that would be an objective statement. We're not you're not saying that, you're just saying it's better. I've I would also said... accept first person is better for competitive players, or first person is better for like viewers or is better for esports. I would accept any three of those. I don't think first person's better for viewers. I think it I think it is on a gameplay standpoint, maybe not like an actual like visual standpoint. I think that should be split apart. Make sure to pull early here. We're a lot farther than it looks. Tell me when. I will agree with you that, like, in first person, for some people, the low field of view can make them feel nauseous. I'm pulling now. 
But isn't that nausea just their own opinion? I mean, an opinion would be food poisoning is not a real thing. That's an opinion. <laughs> Again, I continue to be slandered. I've <laughs> clarified on many occasions my uh, feelings on the concept of food poisoning. But I don't want to. I don't want to get us off topic. I'm still waiting for an objective statement from Austin why Furpy is better. I because it doesn't cause stalemates. But you're inferring that a stalemate is a bad thing. It is. But that's a. a bit. Because both players lose to no fault of their own. Or uh, one person who tries to make a move will have a lower chance of winning. Yeah, it fables the defender. Yes, which causes stalemates. You ever see the First World War? If, if you favor the defender, the both sides will defend until there's no the other solution. War? You're proving my point. I'm not proving your You just said it was better for the defender. That's exactly true. Awesome. I'm going to ask you. That doesn't make it bad. It does. Awesome. Why I'm going to ask you an objective. Why is better because, because when you have two people defending, they both sit there and don't do anything until it's too late. But that's a strategic choice. No, it's the only choice because if you go aggressive to attempt to win, you die. Some people like that. No, they don't. No one, the aggressive <laughs> people hate it because they know that's the only play they can make and it's the losing play. Uh, I, again, it's, it's an opinion. No, <laughs> it, there we go again. I've provided you... You can't just discount it and say, no, this is an opinion. You can't just say that it's an opinion without providing your own... Like you, you're, you're saying that playing aggressive is... A better way to play the game. No, that's not that's what, what I said. Just, I'm saying well, that's what you're referring, playing the, defensive causes stalemates was my original argument. Let me ask you an objective question: Has a PUBG game ever ended ended in a stalemate? I, uh, I, that's not the point though. Like probably not because I mean, you'd have to have both people die at the same time. But the idea of stalemates occurs when the blue's coming so eventually someone will be pushed but in reality a lot of times it's both of them so the stalemate is on a micro scale not a macro one so wouldn't it favor the whoever played better in a positioning standpoint no it favors whoever circle? happened to be closer inside of the circle wouldn't I that be a decision think, to make I still sometimes think it's just you have enabling no a false premise of like slow defensive play being objectively worse I don't know. It, 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 honestly, like, you can play that way in, in first person and still be, like, a reasonable strat, but there are points where you have to play aggressively in first person, you have no choice. And that's a good thing because it avoids those stalemates. It forces the engagements instead of just saying, hey, sit there until something happens. What if you like sitting there? I, that's an opinion. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I just can't do he it. He said anymore. the words. I, what if you like this? Then that is a that is an but opinion. But you like the action. I do, but I'm giving form. arguments that don't relate to my my liking and is trying to explain the competitive nature just of it. You don't use the words I like doesn't mean the thing that you're stating is not an opinion. I can't fucking wait to see the comments. I actually I can't wait. Either because I agree that many people will prefer first person for what I consider to be valid reasons. But there's a level of hubris, linguistically, that I cannot get behind, that it's objectively better. I still haven't heard one objective reason for your standpoint. Like, I'm trying to make arguments, and you guys are arguing those arguments, but you're never making we're, your well, own we're not, points. We're yet. not saying that it's objectively better. We say we prefer it. You, you're you're saying, again, I, I, then you're which one do you think is objectively better? I don't think one is objectively better. Yes. I, then, it's then, a matter of opinion. Then how can you argue on it if, if you don't even take, uh, if you don't even think one? Like, you could, I actually don't, I'm so fucking lost now, like. No, I can tell you I prefer one, but I don't think it's better than the other. Yes. Okay, do you think someone with 1,500 hours in the game would have maybe a better, <laughs> I'm just saying, well, that's like. That's a fallacious argument known as appeal to authority. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm asking you. Uh, no, I don't think you're more qualified to say that one is objectively better. Then who is who is qualified then? Who nobody. is qualified to say anything? Nobody. Nobody in the world is well, allowed. No, to. not to say anything. I think that the this discussion, the actual argument is whether you think one could be objectively better. Not I that think you could say would I think really one could be. Right, but we're arguing essentially two different things. You're waiting for us to present a counter argument that third person is better. When it really comes down to is that we just prefer it. We don't have, like, an objective reason that, that would persuade you on an intellectual level. In the same way that your intellectual argument can't persuade me to have more fun with first person. 
I think he nailed it. I'm glad you're you're making the statement and not me. <laughs> I just I don't know. I I think we've had just as much fun in first person and third person looking back on the episodes and seeing the wins we've gotten. I think we've I got... would make an objective statement saying that we have not had more fun in first person than third person. I'm somewhere in the middle. Like I I don't really mind which one we play, but I do prefer third. <laughs> Like, if push came to shove and you put a gun to my head, I would vote for third, but I'm pretty content with either. I would play top down. Like, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, I could go either way, but I, I like having a little therapy in the mix. That's it. That I agree with. The occasional therapy. Yeah. Okay. And this it's is like, going to sound super selfish, and I, I I will agree that this is going to sound super selfish. But if we have two people who don't care which we play, and one who does care what we play, why don't we just play the one that the person wants? Well, I think we're both saying we're cool with first, but we, we just want a little sp sprinkling. Just a, a little just dab. occasional sprinkle. Yeah. But you're saying we can never have sprinkling. I'm not saying we can never. Place. I'm just saying if you don't care, then why not? And clearly you do care because you want a sprinkling of it. Yeah. Just a sprinkling. Frequently. If you had the choice, then you would just want to always play third person, then, right? I mean, yeah. Okay, <laughs> then I feel like we've gotten to a new point in this argument, then. <laughs> well, it's objectively better. <laughs> no, I know. I, I, I just, I, I get what you guys are saying. I just don't think that you provided enough evidence for me to be wrong about what I'm saying. Oh, I you're wrong. You're, I don't think, I don't think you're wrong that. I, like, I don't think you're wrong by saying that first is better than third. I think you're wrong in thinking that it's a factual argument. My personal opinion is that it's a subjective argument. But it kind of puts us on weird footing to begin with, because, like, the fact that you've phrased your argument as a fact and I'm phrasing mine <laughs> as an opinion almost makes yours seem artificially stronger just by default. <laughs> I think it puts me from a position of weakness in the argument just from having a more passive opinion, which I... I I'm going to say is not with merit. Your honor. <laughs> I don't think yeah. there's any solution to this argument. I think both sides are set in their own thing, so. I think this solution is a sp it's just sprinkle. It's sprinkle. not, but like, I feel like we're being asked to play third person every other game. I don't think that's just a Just a little, someone can, someone, we got stats, we got stats for that. Someone can look at this. Right, because okay. I've been, I've been campaigning against it. I feel like if I didn't campaign against it, we'd be playing nothing but third person. Just here's, a little sprinkle. Here, here's what I, here, here's I think is the, the impasse that can be solved. One episode per session, therapy. That's cool. the definition of sprinkle. I, I'm honestly okay with that. Hey, well then, what are we arguing about? Yeah. That's a sprinkle right there. So next episode, <laughs> we already did one. Yeah, but that was before we ratified. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I'm mean, just I, asking for a sprinkle. I think this might be the last episode of the session, right? Oh, convenient. <laughs> it is now, yeah. <laughs> so in that case, if we die early here, then let's go back to thirty. Anyone need a M16? I got one. I'd like a not M16, though, actually. I thought the M16 was like the gun du jour. I mean, it's preference. It's not, oh. not objectively better. Oh. I think it. The, I think the it, guns it's have stats associated. I, I I think the M16 might be objectively better, but I don't prefer it. <laughs> Weird. Oh. I know. Oh lord, this is. <gasps> so what you're saying is that. Sometimes, even if there's an M16 that's objectively better than an M4, you would take the M4 instead because it's more fun to use. Uh, because I'm better with it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> anyway. The <It's a> doozy. <laughs> it would take at least a $250,000 ask for me to drink blended up shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's if it's my own. All right. Honestly, say there's a new Seth Rogen movie coming out and you get an email from Dmart says, hey, Ryan, you're not going to believe this, but he's promoting this movie called Poop Stars. And you have to stream yourself taking a swig of this shot glass sized for $250,000. Do I have to drink the shot? Like the, the whole shot. shot or a sip? The whole shot. And it's it's actual poop. It, it's, it's the blended mix. And I'm not gonna get my channel banned. 
<laughs> Twitch is like, we're, we're cool with it just one time. Yeah, it, it signed off on by, um, uh, who's the, Edwin, who's the head guy? I know, uh, Emmett, 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 yeah. Emmett Shear. He, he signed Scared off as hell that my guy looked like Emmett, Emmett Shear. Shear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I, I'm not trying to look for a loophole, but I feel like I'd be more likely to do it because I don't think that, you know, Paramount Pictures is going to just start poisoning quote unquote influencers to promote their movie. That seems like bad press. But let me ask like, you this. So you do it, you get paid the 250 yeah. and then you get inundated with interview requests from like all the gaming press. Yeah, I would turn them all down. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 100%. There has never been a positive article written about making money on Twitch or YouTube. <laughs> it's always, you won't believe how much money this person made for being a talentless garbage fire. Every single article. Well, you're quoting the New York Times saying, is, hey, you're living I was, easy street. No. <laughs> My publicist was quoted in the New Yorker. And again, the quote that they took out of like an hour long interview was, you won't believe how much fucking money people make. <laughs> Probably a well-reasoned discussion took place. It was a very balanced and like, well, and here's the difficulties of it. The quote that the New Yorker pulls, and it was, I thought it was a fairly well-written article. The quote that the New Yorker pulls, you won't believe how much <laughs> fucking money people make. Because <laughs> oh. the truth of the matter is that really nobody wants to know about the bad parts of being a streamer because it, it, they just pull out the world's tiniest violin which i also understand <laughs> this these streamers you know and you set me off now i'm going <laughs> you just tell me when to stop the streamers they do the job for like a year and they get a little famous and then they go oh my god la weekly wants to talk to me this is like gonna be a great opportunity for me to give my opinion of what it's like to be in this industry oh it's really hard you know like i struggle with mental health and you know you never know how long it's gonna last how long you're gonna stay current and then they go oh, how much money do you make and they do i do pretty well you won't believe how well <laughs> this listen to whiny streamer a... complain <laughs> yeah. about problems when he has hundreds of thousands of dollars everybody goes into it with this attitude of being like i'm gonna talk about the the hard parts of being a streamer like how you know if you ever take a vacation, you lose 25% of your mental or 25% of your uh, monthly income for three months. And then the, you know, journalists, I mean, they're, they're trying to write stuff that people want to read. They go, oh, nobody wants to read about that. Omid Dariani pilots his slick new Tesla down the <laughs> New Jersey turnpike. <laughs> Cracks open a can of ice cold madrinas. He moved eight million dollars in product last year. And uh, I, that's why, I like, I... no. After a, to answer your question, after I drink the shot glass full of shit, I'm not giving interviews. I wonder if I've like become a huge hypocrite with that though, because like I recognize all of like my fellow streamers and their problems and like how difficult it can be. But then like if I see someone like Shroud say anything, I just go like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> That's like when, when the um, when the Grim stuff came out, and he was like, "I don't know how to handle." Well, it, it, I mean, it's not, I say there's come boys out here like, at this compound in front of me, as if when it's they, like a huge controversy. But you know, when, when the he was, honkers? yeah, yeah, when okay. he kind of he DMCA the stream honkers, it was being kind of like a rude. He had an attitude problem, I think it's fair to say. And he's like, it's hard to adjust to go going from essentially a nobody to having like thirty thousand people watch your show. Everybody, myself included, went. <laughs> oh, it must be hard to make seventy-five thousand dollars a month, huh? <laughs> like, and that's the thing is, like, nobody wants to hear about your problems if you're a streamer who's doing well. I just knocked a guy and out I, through the fence. I'm, I'm dialed. I swear to God. I'm also popping off. What? They just sat there. I don't understand. They just let me kill them. They were resigned to defeat there. I'm very confused. I've noticed that uh, all these bodies have been picked. <laughs> oh, I didn't touch those. They were already picked. There's some There's some more bits on that guy right there that I left. We have to go, though. But, like, other streamers, sometimes, apparently Austin's not in this camp, but other times have sympathy for, like, you know, I was talking with some of the other contestants of Champions of Fire, and I was like, you know, there's parts <laughs> of this business that are 
actually like really stressful. The idea that you're essentially unqualified to do what you do. And a year from now, people might go, I don't really like this guy anymore. And then you're just torpedoed. Like that, that uncertainty eats away at people. But if, if a journalist comes to you and goes, we want to do an interview about what life's like on Twitch. If you say oh, you yes, you're M4. already done. You're already, they're already gonna ride. I, I hope you're driving a Honda Civic because other, <laughs> otherwise you're getting this pilots his sleek new BMW M3 down the highway one of British Columbia. Fuck, are we dead? What, why are you guys looting? You said we had to go. We did. I, I was just really low on loot. I'm looking for a car. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I mean, first aid, I got plenty of healing, so I'll make it. But do you guys need healing? I think I'm going to make it. All right. I, I got one first. Yeah, should be alright. No, but <clears throat> I, 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 like, is there a point where you do make enough money that you should just shut up? Like, does that yes. happen? Absolutely. And most of the people giving the interviews, in my opinion, are kind of at that point. Some people don't care about it. What's, like, what's the number? Like, I look at Shroud. He has 30-something thousand subs, right? Well, I think, honestly, the thing is, if you're making, like, a decent living on Twitch, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should just, like, go shut up and be happy. But you should accept that people that are in, like, a worse position are not going to care about what in the whole scheme of things are going to be minor problems in their eyes. It's like if a professional athlete was, like, I could sad sometimes you would be like i'm sympathetic and i appreciate what we're doing for mental health awareness but at the same time like i'm not surprised when that article gets four clicks and the article about like you won't believe what aaron judge just bought gets like 300 million <laughs> man we are getting screwed in these circles my bentley just got scratched by the valet <laughs> Look, and that's not even what streamers complain about. They complain about things that I think are a real problem. Yeah, in like industry. legitimate issues. Like, like monsters only paying me fifty grand per stream. <laughs> this is this is slanderous, Daniel. Oh, sorry. No, it's like uh, you know, I think the fact that I think there's something poisonous to the mind to live your entire life with a chat reacting to what you say every time you say something. I think that's like mentally poisonous and not a lot of people talk about it. It's just like the human brain wasn't built to live with that kind of feedback. The human brain was meant to be like, I said something stupid. People forget about it in 45 seconds. Now it's like, remember that time this person said something stupid in 2013? They were an ass forever. Like, yeah, I think. I think that's part of that's a, a I do think there's this culture of like if you do one thing wrong on the internet you are fucked for the rest of your time of like just forever. Yeah, but don't that's you think terrifying. That, but don't you think well you're putting yourself out there you got to be on your P's and Q's. Oh, well, of course. But, but mistakes like, happen. Exactly. Honest mistakes happen. <laughs> like like CS:GO gambling. No, that's not an honest no, mistake. That, that person little... <laughs> should not be as successful as he is, and it's kind of disgusting that he is, but... Oh, I'm not calling anyone out. I'm saying. calling him the fuck out. He's a piece of shit. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm not, because I, I used to watch one of the guys, and he's no longer on Twitch, but... Yeah, he's no longer with well, us. One of them is, and it's just really gross that everyone pretends he didn't do something ridiculously wrong. Not everybody does. Like, the dude is still catching heat in the court of public opinion, but I agree that he got off with, like, a slap on the wrist. He got off, to... not even. Not even. He got off away with, he got away with all the money. All the, he's still very famous, making lots of money. If yes. anything, he got rewarded for it. <laughs> no, I don't think that he got rewarded. Because I guarantee the dude's getting, like, you know, a thousand tweets a day that are like, Hey, scumbag, I still remember that time that you were a scumbag. I'm not saying that I don't that's think so, because penalty, they, they like, create, like, a bubble, you know? Of, like, people that still enjoy them, and they just, you just block anyone who says stupid shit. <laughs> I have a vehicle. Please. Nice. Please, please pick us up. I will come back to get you. But please be running towards me, because I'm are. so low on HP. I, can, I have a first aid for you. I asked you if you need heals. It's out of gas. That's bad. Are you a gas man today? I got some bad news. Oh, that's okay. I got some good news. You found I got gas. gas. Get you over got here. Gas? Ryan, come take yep. these heals. Come take these heals. I still got plenty. Okay. You're going to hit the blue oh. anyway. Here, I'll, I'll drop by the car. Thank you. Here's I'm just going to bandy a couple times and then come back. Yeah. yeah. Get up here, Dan. We need you. Again, I, I don't want it to be like, hmm, guys, leave him alone. But I do think they're they're taking some social punishment. It it just depends on. I like, I just I I think that when you do something literally illegal and you don't go well, to jail for it, 
people are also cut from like different cloth. Like I think most people believe that those guys don't really care that they lost the respect of their serious peers. And uh, like that's the kind of thing that would rattle me to the core. They didn't though. They still he still has loads of people that he streams with and that are totally okay with it. Yeah, I know, but like the <laughs> there are people in the industry that that know him and are like, Oh yeah, that guy I've never met him, but he's just come back. Right. Let, let me let me play devil's advocate. At what point how does he get his cred back? Or what does he do to make right, him not trying to like act Austin. like he didn't do anything and saying I regret what I do and I'll accept the punishment? Although I agree with you, and I think that's the bigger man approach to take, we kind of, like, we're living in a society where the people that admit to their mistakes are eating it. And it, sometimes it's deserved for what they've done. But if you just that's deny a boy. that it ever happened... Oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh, sorry, Dan. Sorry, Dan. That was, I mean, like, super unlucky. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still alive. There's a battle going on, man. I, I'm gonna be on. I'll take the heat. Maybe we can save you, but there's low chance. I mean, I'm still alive. Malfoy. No, he, you just died. Okay, so it was the right decision. All right. There was one guy. No, there, were, there was a whole fight going on. Nah, I saw one guy. Ryan, you want to heal really quick before we bound it? Yeah, I'm trying to use it here. You can make it up to me by playing one more therapy after this. <laughs> <laughs> the point that I was about to make is not that one person, like if they do something wrong, they shouldn't apologize. All I'm saying is I understand why when some people, you know, get accused of this in the court of public opinion, they go, nope, didn't happen. That's, I get it, but like, I ju that that's getting into territory of being like, do whatever you want and you can get away with it. Kind that's of a, a valid point. I, I also accept that. We are out of gas. It was really good, like, momentum-based parking job. Uh, never mind. I got some boost. So just, just use a guy for his petrol and <laughs> leave him Dude, like a the dog. gas. And that was a noble thing you did there. I'm, the I'm gas unhappy that you died. You, you, your spirit is continuing this game forward. I'll tell you straight up, that might be the highest value petrol in our battlegrounds history. Yo, Austin, go get that drop. Or it's... that's Ho bar of it. Ho, go get that drop. I didn't Kinda even see want it. it oh, but it's you ran just right so past out in the it's open. right here. Yeah. There's so many shots, like okay, okay, okay. close you're to right. it. You're right, you're right, you're right. So I'm gonna go for it. Da <laughs> oh, Let's say gonna... Daisy, ch Daisy, yeah. chain some smokes and get there. I'm, I'm... I think you should. Yeah, like he's pot committed at this point. He's got he's all in on 7-2 offsuit. No, nope, I'm, I'm done. I'm done We made a Give mistake. We made a huge mistake Never gonna get me Just get that you see where they're at Get in the house. No, not like that. Oh, oh, oh he's done it Hey, fuck that All right. Well, you know, we learned some new things today Dangerous things are dangerous. Do you know where they are? They're up on that hill where the drop was. Not for long, buddy. Austin, do you have awesome extra stuff? Ow, no. All right. Say no more. But, I mean, the thing is... But what's what's like, out there? Oh, it's that weird. Let's let's go to it. Let's get in there. All right. Like, oh Jesus, dude! I would love watching Austin hurdle like that. I'd love to be able to see it in therapy. <laughs> I saw it, it in therapy. Yeah, it looks really good, right? What are we going to out here, Austin? These hay bales. Because I know you're gonna live. I can't believe they're getting away with shooting at us for so long. Here we go. We've arrived. Hotel California. Are they in a hot air balloon? I don't know. It's actually Almost ridiculous. Like, or are there two teams shooting at us that don't know where the other people are? Like It's something ridiculous like that. All I'm going to say is that if you're a streamer and you want to talk about your problems and you want to find a sympathetic ear, talk to other streamers. Because they will be sympathetic. You know, we talk, in the Skype group, we'll talk about, like, hey... Pretty messed up that YouTube is demonetized like all this junk. And we're like, yeah, makes me real sad. Or like, oh, I had like a lot of anxiety I today. We're like, I get it. They're, oh, you know? there's three of them coming, 190. 
Holy shit. I just wanted to give him a little bit of business. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It's one heck of a... I can't believe they got down that hill without getting shot at. One heck of a stalemate we got here. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I mean... Oh, uh... Yeah, there's movement at uh, 55 at this compound up to our yeah, northeast. I see him. Scare him off. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's the other guys again. They're at the houses we were at earlier. I knew that. I'm the closest thing to Mike since Janet. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Homie, we jumping up at them couches. They're coming from the other compound. Nice. We absolutely demolished. Just, just destroyed that guy. All right. Am I losing it? Austin is superb at locating people. 175. Ooh, trying to get a peek. Yep. He's done. Somebody else got him, I think. Mm, he died in the play zone. Ah. There was another one, though. He's still out there, prone in the field somewhere. Fuck, we gotta move. I'm, I'm going now. Okay. Me One's at two out in the open on the edge of the blue northeast. Yeah. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. They wouldn't. They I wouldn't actually can't believe that. that we made it. South, east, sorry. Knocked one. Oh. Nope. Ow. <laughs> Where'd he go? Back there somewhere. Up on this hill, 330. Oh, that seems bad for me. Okay, my, di my guys died. So we got boys that are gonna come over this hill with us. Direction? The big hill directly in front of us, uh, northwest. Okay. I see one prone. Never mind, that's a rock or some shit. Fuck! Yeah, one's dead ahead, uh, 330-ish. He, he tagged me once and got me with the car. Fuck. He's 325, 320. Don't, don't res, don't res. Can you get over to me? You need to get over to me. You don't think it's vulnerable there? That's fine. I think I was... I think if I had like you res me, I would have died. Or you would have died, I should say. Eight alive. Fuck, I can't move! <laughs> this is a very delicate spot here. Surrounded by rolls of insulation. It's a boy directly to my south somewhere. Man, I don't know who this play zone is, but he's tearing it up. <laughs> no magic. Let's go, let's go. I need a scope. Fuck. I did not have a scope. No, this guy. Oh. I'm, I have 1v4. I'm 1v4, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a strong one. Did you see that guy back there, Austin? Yep. Okay. What? Oh, my boost is broken. Oh, nice yeah, one before. Jesus Christ, man! What a valiant effort, though. Valiant, especially after Dan just bit the dust. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See. Ya. Therapy.